Jeeps. You either love them or you hate them. Myself, I've never cared much one way or the other. I've always respected them as a very capable off-road rig, and one of my first driving experiences as a kid was in an old World War II Jeep that my brother had. That unfortunately ended badly with me rolling it three times down a hill, and I remember my mom not being super impressed with my brother and I coming home with the local police. But Jeeps have just never been on my radar. I don't have a problem with them, they've just never really been a consideration. With all that said, when RMT Overland reached out to me and asked if I would be interested in taking their upfitted Jeep Gladiator on a legitimate real life Overland trip, I felt like that would be pretty stupid not to take them up on their offer. All right, so you guys might have remembered from a couple videos back that I said I was gonna be heading out on an Overland adventure and I wasn't going to be taking the van. That's because I'm gonna be taking this awesome Jeep Gladiator from RMT Overland. They loaned this vehicle to me for 10 days. This is actually a Jeep you can order straight from the dealership, outfitted exactly the way you see this one here. Uh, the 37 inch tires, the winch, the snorkel, rooftop tent, everything you see on this Jeep, including the Fox 2.5 uh, remote reservoir suspension, you can order straight from Jeep with a warranty. So anyways, like I said, they've let me have it. We're going to take it on a remote overland adventure, and I can't wait to get started. You're going to stay here? You'll be a good girl? Papa, I miss you. This adventure would be a solo trip. Megan's still recovering from her accident, and I knew Daisy would prefer lazy days in the van over bouncing around on rough trails. The area I was headed is regarded as some of the most remote and desolate area in Oregon. It's an area that I have yet to experience and I was very, very excited to finally get my chance. I wanted this to be an overland slash photography trip. Photography has kind of been on the back burner for me lately and from my research of the Oahe River Canyon, it looked to me to be a great location to reignite my passion for riding with light. Alright, so it looks like me that uh, here in Rome we can pump our own gas and it looks like it's open 24-7. This is a good piece of information for anybody who wants to come out and explore this area uh, is to know that you can access this pump. So uh, that's good because this is pretty much the only gas station anywhere near and where we're going to be heading out to from here is there won't be anything more after this point. The first thing I wanted to check out was the Pillars of Rome. The unique rock formations were named by early pioneers as it said that it reminded them of Roman ruins. The rock formations are roughly 5 by 2 miles long and 100 feet high. Pioneers traveling the Oregon Trail used them as a landmark to find the area where they could cross the Oahe River. So we just stopped off at the Pillars of Rome. It's a kind of a hot attraction, just fairly close off the highway there. Uh, it is on private land, so there's not much you really can do other than maybe snap a couple photos. It is kind of a cool rock formation, but it's not something that I'm gonna spend much time at. I'm gonna to continue to kind of move on further into the desert here and uh, see if we can find a really nice place to camp for the evening as it is starting to get late. guys well I think I found a spot for us to camp I actually searched this out on Gaia when I was uh, looking at satellite images but it exceeds every expectations check this out look at this absolutely stunning view that we have here this is absolutely gorgeous I think this will be a great spot for me to maybe shoot some landscape photography I'm just hoping we get a little break in the weather it looks like just right off of yonder there 
got a little bit of a blue sky. It just looks absolutely stunning right now. So anyways, we've got the uh, Jeep all parked up here. I'm gonna put the rooftop tent out, get everything set up. And uh, it's, yeah, it's after six. We're gonna get settled in for tonight. And yeah, it's gonna be gorgeous. Well, I'm not super organized back here right at the moment, but I think I got everything in the back of the truck that I really needed. I've got a little pop-up fire pit, my cooler, a uh, chair to sit in. I brought some firewood and I also bought some firewood. I had cut a bunch the other day, but used most of it the other night. So on the way out, I grabbed a couple of bundles from the store because I knew there would be absolutely nothing out here for me to cut. So I, I didn't bring my chainsaw, but I did bring the ax to split some things down. So. Anyways, yeah, I'm just gonna get a, yeah, a couple more things organized and uh, let's get a fire going. Living full-time in my van, I've gone through great lengths to make sure I have everything I need to live comfortably. But because of that, even though I'm always out in beautiful locations, it feels more like day-to-day -day life. I wanted this trip to feel more like a camping adventure. So I packed pretty light. RMT Overland's goal is to build adventure-ready vehicles, something you can take off the dealership lot and head to the woods with confidence. The Jeep Gladiator came with a rooftop tent, so all I brought was some basic camping gear, my camera gear, and of course my Jackery to keep everything charged. Traveling light like this is great when you're moving a lot and wanting to cover a lot of country. I wouldn't give up my van for the world. It's the best fit for my lifestyle at the moment and the comfort it provides on location is awesome. But I can definitely appreciate the nimbleness and off-road capabilities of the RMT Overland Jeep Gladiator. All right, folks. Well, we just came out here on this rim. The skies did kind of open up. As you can see, it is stormy, stormy, stormy all around me. When I was trying to make the fire, I had it hailing on me. That made it difficult, but just look at these skies. Absolutely stunning all everywhere I look. So had to get the camera out. Like I said, I kind of wanted to make this a photography trip. So got the camera out. We have this beautiful canyon going down and then these beautiful skies. This is exactly what I hoped for. Didn't think I was gonna get it tonight, but I definitely was rewarded. So this is Megan's jet boil. This is what she used in her van. Uh, I thought it would work out well for my situation with the Jeep. And uh, yeah, so far I'm really happy with it. It's got a lot of control. So I can really crank it up or I can get it down to a nice simmer. And now that the wind has kind of kicked down here, uh, it's working really well. And this is starting to look and smell very delicious.
All right, well, we're getting ready to head the, hit the sack. Uh, it's just been kind of hailing out there on and off. We did have a few minutes of reprieve and then another quick squall came through. So I decided that uh, it's already been a long day. I was feeling pretty tired. We'll go ahead and uh, cut it off early tonight and hopefully tomorrow we can wake up and uh, get a beautiful sunrise and see if we can't shoot some more beautiful shots of that canyon. We're just starting to get some coffee going this morning. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous day. Uh, much nicer than yesterday. It was all cloudy and hailing and snowing and windy. Uh, today it's still a little bit breezy, but the sun's out. It's really gorgeous. I uh, hopped out of the tent first thing and went and shot some more photos this morning. And now I'm just trying to get a little bit of coffee going and stay warm by the fire. But and yeah, absolutely gorgeous. This Overland Adventure has already started off amazing and there is more to come as we continue to explore this beautiful country. I wanna make it clear that you don't need a Jeep Gladiator to go out and do an adventure like this. What you do need is passion. Passion for the outdoors and passion for wide open spaces. The RMT Overland Jeep Gladiator is a great tool and there are many tools out there that can do the job. This is just another option you may wanna consider. Check out the website below if you want to learn more about the RMT Overland Jeep Gladiator and some of the other vehicles RMT offers. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, leave those down below. Consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys again outside.